Hey fishing friends, the other day my son was telling me that making a chum bag is a great way to attract fish when you're fishing. So I'm going to head into the uh, Dollar Tree here and see what we can find for making a chum bag today. Yes, you caught me. I'm making my Dollar Tree chum bag video. Where's Sophia? Hi, sweetie. Hi, honey. Hi. She's so cute. My granddaughter and my daughter. You're going to be in a video now. <laughs> All right, we're looking for uh, mesh laundry bags. Look at this. A mesh laundry bag. What is this? Delicates wash bag. Actually, that looks pretty good right there. I think I'm going to go with these two. We'll see what happens. Ah, look. Right here. Plastic clothesline with hook. All right, we'll get that to you. We got the goods. All right, I'm gonna head into one of our local tackle stores here, Economy Tackle, and uh, see what they have for chum baskets. Look at this, mesh dunk chum bag. Okay, got my chum bag supplies. I picked up some 10 ounce sinkers from the local tackle shop. Those were about $9 total. They had a chum bag in there that was uh, $2.99. I got this one from the Dollar Tree for a dollar, this one for a buck. I'm gonna open these up and uh, see what they look like. So here's the three bags. This one's kind of cool. It was the, the garment bag from the Dollar Tree. It's got a little zipper on it and it's got a little hook where you could actually tie it onto the, the line. I, I like that one. It's got some pretty good sized holes and uh, you know these ones from the Dollar Tree, I mean it's a buck. You could just throw them away. The guy at the tackle store was saying the problem with chum bags is they get all kinds of junk in them and they're hard to clean. So you know if you're only paying a buck for it and you use them every now and then just buy one and throw it away, right? Uh, this one came from the Dollar Tree. Now, this one's big enough you could probably get you know one, two, three or four chum bags out of this um, it's a little lighter material but it's tough and uh, the holes are a little bit smaller in this one than uh, than this one now this is the chum bag that I got from the bait shop and uh, you know it feels like it's a very well made and it's got larger holes in the mesh than these other ones do but uh, you know for the purpose of this video I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to try this this little Dollar Tree bag. So this clothesline from the Dollar Tree is like 70 feet long. I'm a little helper here. Destin. Destin. Say hi. Okay, so I've got my weights tied onto my clothesline from the Dollar Tree. And uh, I'm looking at this bag. I originally thought I would put it on the loop. But I'm concerned if I do that, that the current will pull on the bag and cause it to come unzipped. I don't want that to happen. So actually this clothesline will fit through this mesh net pretty well. Should be able to push it through there, pull it through like this. And this bag actually has a plastic ring on it. And uh, I think I'll just be able to tie, tie the bag right off on there. Okay, got my ingredients here. Got some chopped up dogfish and some pinfish, some chicken, and I got some leftover frozen shrimp. Oh yeah, food press processor, definitely the way to go. Oh yeah, look at that. All right, close that guy up. Just gonna put this guy in a plastic bag, stick it in the freezer. So here's my chum bag that I made the other day. Just gonna rig this thing. I'm gonna push it through the mesh. I'm gonna drop this chum bag straight down here. Get it down to the bottom, and uh, it's nice and frozen still. Pull up this chum line here and see what it looks like see if it's doing its job oh yeah look at all that 
That's stuff going in the water down there. Look at all the bait fish coming around. Here's the uh, easy disposal method. If I wanted to, I don't see any reason why I couldn't just take this guy home, stick it in the freezer again, and uh, use it for the second time. Hey guys, that's it. I had a lot of fun today. And uh, yeah, the chum bag works from Dollar Tree. See ya!